Japanese war machines quest for Asia was going well for them. Manchuria had been under their control for a year and French Indochina, as Vietnam was called back then, had fallen to the Kingdom of the Rising Sun. Their next target was Indonesia, which was under control of Dutch imperial forces. The Japanese would be able to take out the Dutch defence with ease, but the Dutch were allied with America, England and Australia. Australia would have to stop them at Indonesia to avoid being attacked itself. Japan prevailed in Indonesia and they were installing their rule. No one thought that the Japanese could attack Australia from Indonesian air bases. They were wrong. Japanese forces had a new type of plane called the Zero, capable of reaching northwest Australia and returning to Java. The Japanese planned a surprise attack on Broome. Broome had an airfield being used by the Allied forces to supply Java and Singapore, which were allies of Australia. On March 3, 1942, nine Japanese fighters and a reconnaissance airplane headed from Java to Broome. Roebuck Bay was bombed because there was a number of flying boats sheltering Dutch refugees that had evacuated from Java. The Japanese also attacked the airport where there was a number of Allied aircraft. On that day, 22 Allied aircraft were destroyed and 88 people lost their life. Many of the dead were women and children sheltering in flying boats on Roebuck Bay. The attack was one of two directed at Australian mainland in World War II. This was a wake-up call for Australia. <laughs>